guys and welcome back to Bell's Books. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and please do like and subscribe for more book related content from me in the future. So today I am going to be talking to you about the Chaos Walking series by Patrick Ness. I thought now was the perfect time to review it because the movie's just come out and I read it over Christmas, kind of November into December. There are three books in this series. So the thoughts are really fresh in my mind and I just kind of felt like I had to share them. So leave me a comment down below if you've read this series already and whether or not you enjoyed it. And if you haven't read it, then stay tuned because this is the video that's gonna help you decide whether or not you should read it. So there are three books in this series, The Knife of Never Letting Go, Monsters of Men, and The Ask and the Answer. So it's a young adult science fiction series and I'm not sure if the movie will be true to the books, as in one movie will be the contents of the first book or if the movie covers the entire series, but I guess we'll find out when we watch the movie. So conceptually, I found this series incredibly interesting and I really enjoyed it. It's set on a different planet and there's something very strange, very unusual about the premise. Something that makes the world they live on a very different one from ours. The thoughts of all men cannot be concealed and are heard by all. They have no privacy from anybody else and keeping secrets is difficult if not impossible. Even the most inappropriate and personal thoughts are shared with others against one's will. So the series tells the story of Todd Hewitt as he grows up and becomes a man, the meaning of which changes throughout the story. It also tells the story of Violet, a girl who has travelled on a spaceship with thousands of other people to join the settlers on this unusual planet. The two characters become very close and together they have to battle various evils and support each other all the while. I said I loved the premise and I did. And I loved the plot, I loved the storyline. However, the big issue for me was the way that this series was written. I hated it. I found it so hard to get past the way it was written. I just couldn't handle it and I'll explain exactly why in a minute. But because I love the plot and I love the premise but I hate the way it's written, it really makes me think that if this movie is done well, I'm gonna adore the movie because it'll take away that narrative voice that I just didn't get on with. So the book switches perspective quite often, which is fine, um, but the way that the book is written is really alarming. There's not much description and it's mostly dialogue and there are loads of arguments and everyone always seems to be yelling at each other. This is partly due to necessity, the plot is based around conflict, um, but partly due to this concept of everyone um, being able to hear everyone else's thoughts. I just felt like I was being rushed through the series, um, which I really hated. I felt like everyone was yelling at me constantly, and by everyone I mean the characters in the book, and it just made me really tired and I didn't particularly enjoy the reading experience. I began to dread picking the books up. I also felt like I was being rushed through the series because there was so much conflict and so much dialogue. I never really had time to process anything before my feet got swept out from under me again. This was fine, honestly, in the first book. It was hard in the second, and it was basically impossible to endure in the third. Um, so I'm not sure that this was my favorite series ever. It really wasn't my favourite series ever. But I do think that writing style and the writing styles that a reader enjoys are very different and specific to a reader. Um, so just because I didn't like it doesn't mean that you won't. And I do think that especially if you're a young adult reader, um, you might be more familiar with this writing style and you might enjoy it more. You also might take the yelling at each other less personally than I did. Um, for whatever reason, I decided that I was going to feel personally attacked by it. I don't think that you should be put off reading this book just because I didn't enjoy it. And I do think the story and the premise is amazing. So you should definitely try reading the book and you should definitely watch the movie. Because I think Patrick Ness has done something really special and really impressive here. I do have a couple of other recommendations for you if you are a young adult reader and you're looking for more recommendations of exciting series that are similar to Chaos Walking. I think all of these are fantastic 
young adult books which are very much in the vein of chaos walking um, they're quite exciting they're adventure stories and um, there's a lot of combat there's a lot of conflict so you might like the gone series by michael grant you might like cherub by robert Mitchamore, the maze runner series by james dashner ender's game by orson scott card and this is a standalone novel but it also does have prequels and sequels and spin-offs so you can really immerse yourself in the universe if you would like and then ready player one and ready player two by ernest klein now, i hope this video has helped you decide what you should read next and if you do you read Chaos Walking and you do enjoy it please do let me know in the comments down below alternatively if you read it and you also found it a very challenging read then let me know in the comments down below because I do not want to feel alone in this I am so excited to watch the movie and I hope you guys can go see it too thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe bye